Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marvel City Plays Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. Uh, last time we got up a new, last time we played, we got a new superpower up the Rooster Uppercut. Obviously, we can only use a limited amount of time, but whatever. Um, also, hope you answered the question today. Ah, Goombas! Get fucked. Ah, I'm getting fucked. So, like I said, you can combo into that. There you go. I said last, last time. You can combo into it. Nothing we can do there. Oh, bust the barrel though. That all. The game really likes to tease you. There's one thing I learned about this game is that it loves to tease you with things you're going to be able to do later. So when you do do it later, it'll be so much fun to do. So, I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we are. So what you do is you come over here. Actually, I think I did that wrong. I think I was supposed to go roll this way, then do that. Yeah. You can do that and see how it extends your jump a little bit. It extends your jump just enough, and it can extend it even further if it hits something. So keep that in mind when you're doing challenges. I'll get into those when we get into a room like that. And obviously, if you use special abilities, you gain special bonuses, which can lead to more money. So keep that in mind. Don't be afraid to use your powers. See? Lucky for air. And then certain enemies, you have to do it. Like this, you cannot attack these enemies unless you do that. You'll be able to do it once the prompt. It's sort of like Mario and Luigi a little bit, you know, where you have to wait for the tell to how to do anything about it. And obviously if you don't if you don't get it if you don't if you don't attack at a certain time, you're gonna get you're gonna get bopped. Suplex <laughs> power driver. That's a power driver, not a suplex. Kicked. I'm gonna push you into the turnbuckle. Pop it open. There you go. Thank you very much. Moving on. Oh, I love the I love the use of, of various different greens in this. You got you got slightly darker greens, uh, sort of yellowish greens. The vibe, the color palette is very very vibrant, and I really appreciate that. Uh, the the use of like, lots of color. It makes me feel like this definitely belongs like, on the Nintendo console. Not exclusively, mind you, but you know. It definitely has that, that feeling towards it. So safe point right there. Uh-oh. So. Ah, get fucked. Get fucked. There we go. Sometimes I feel like these rooms go a little too long, but whatever. They're just Goombas. They literally, if you, if you can see that one suplex took out nearly half of the whole squad. And that's it. It gets more and more entertaining as the, as the game goes on. Right, now we are here at Santa Lucita, which is basically sort of your big hub, your big city for the most part. There's several cities in this one, but this is the most prominent one that I can think of. Also, load times are a real thing. But not too bad, though. Ah! Skeletons just came running through the town and carrying some girl. They took her to the top of the tower the town and ran off towards the temples of the west. This Dia de los Muertos, the dead have truly risen. I'm going to hide in the forest. It's safe, they're right. Dude, don't, don't go, don't go. Oh yeah, welcome to the Sakura teacher. You look like you can handle yourself, Luchador. The people of the town could really use your help. Don't be shy, you're a hero. That's what you do. Right? Thanks. I guess. So, we have to go over here, but for now, let's explore the town. Let's explore the town. Sometimes most rooms are just going to have empty shit in them that I'll, you'll come back later for doing things. Sometimes they're just there. I'll see you come here. Piñata! Hey. Okay. There's a whole bunch of things to explore. Not every, You can't do everything at once here. I've just come from the farm with this fresh cheese. The fresh is in the whole land. Uh, let's see. Obviously can't go in there yet. Cannot go in there. Again, I love that... Oh. We shouldn't be coming in here. Not yet. Nope. We're going to turn back. We will talk about the... We will talk about that area later. My bad. Also, you can use the D-pad if you're wondering uh, on the Wii U um, uh, Pro Pad. Me, I actually don't. Normally, I I hate playing 2D games with a uh, with an analog stick. 
But um, for some reason, Guacamelee just feels uh, extra smooth. By the way, look at this. First Nintendo reference. And I think this was in the vanilla version, which is Tag Team Los Super Hermanos, aka. The, well, this just basically says the Super Brothers. Obviously, they, and you can see the sort of M and the L. Uh, I think there. And there's several other cameos and references to this game. Um, so I'll show those off uh, as we see the posters. If you're not. It was horrible. A band of Squelos came storming to the town. The Squelettos came storming to the town carrying some poor gold with them. They were headed to the Temple of Rain on the hill west of town. Ah, here we have a side quest. Our compañero de banda has gone missing. Senor, you must help us find him, por favor. Alright, so we accept another quest. I don't believe there's a way to check your quest. You pretty much just find them and just come back to them eventually. There's no time limit. I don't believe any of them are time, so just take your time doing it. Just find them as you go. Nothing compares to the taste of my one of my secrets are freshly rolled tortillas. Oh, okay. That'll come into fact later. Obviously, you can trigger the mission by talking to him. I think there's one more other person you can talk to. The great chicken thief has been terrorizing Santa Lucita for years. Everyone in town has reported small items missing from their homes. That's not good. What are these kids, what are these kids doing? Oh, what's in here? Something's in here. Oh, we can't do anything in there yet. Okay. So, I guess back to Ferocious Wrestling. Here's the next question of the day. Question of the day. What did you, wa what did you watch growing up as a kid? Were you a fan of WCW? ECW? WWF? I'll say WWF just to keep it, just to keep it clear. I am the great combo chicken. Welcome to my, welcome to my dojo. Here's a new feature for the. Here's a feature for the game. Um, if you expect to take on Kalaka in the Forces of Evil, you have much to learn. Let's start with your basic three-hit combo. Poncho, 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 and Poncho. Say hello to the luchador. What? Yes, yes. You'll be paid once the demonstration is over. Okay, go for it. So. Um, versus Poncho, referee combo chicken. I love it. So, if you ever want to know how to do combos, like go above and beyond the standard of just mashing buttons, um, this is where you're gonna come to go. Each time you learn a new ability, you can come here and learn a new combo. Passage rate, this one Nango hits like a pussycat. Now get to work. So, obviously, this is basically your training room, in a way. So, it, some of the stuff you're gonna just come from instinct from playing so many games like this. You know, but some of the some of the more trickier stuff as you go further on when you get new abilities, this is where you're gonna come to uh, like train them and get the timing. And trust me, some of the timing for some of these combos are devastating. Now you don't have to learn all of them to uh, do it. See, look at that. Look at that, see? Uppercut jump into uppercut. It's pretty simple. Birds flying around the room? How dare you mock my ability to fly? After all you've done, get out of my sight! And he's gone. Don't worry about him. Talk about a trauma queen. It looks like you're ready to face the challenges ahead. Calico's gang was headed for the temple. People overheard them talking about some dark ceremony. You better get going if you plan to stop it. Oh, come talk to me again for additional training. Not the chicken, that is. So yeah, and you can come these at any point in time. And I will show that off very, very shortly. Also, here's some loot stores. Unfortunately for a day like today, that you get to meet the great Senor Amor. You could say that I love to beat my opponents to a duel. By the way, Amor means love. So there you go, that's the point. Greetings, Luchador. I am Los Talacacas del Mago. When I'm in the ring, you'll see nothing but magic. Angry Rooster Tequila. Um, who do you? I heard Carlos Caca used to be a person real years ago. Oh, did he now? I don't know what that means for the plot. Mm -hmm, I wonder. Um, me personally, just to get back to the question of the day, I grew up watching WCW. Like, I was a huge fan of WCW from 1984 to about, to about actually 99. 99 is when I really stopped caring about WCW because the plot was such shit. Um, oh, look at that. And we got a, we got a uh, corazón, which is heart in Spanish. Um, we got, we got a new heart meter fix up. My brother has a nasty habit of getting himself in, stuck in impossible situations. It's really embarrassing for our family. He's gone missing again, but he can't be far. I swear I can hear him. Let me know if you can find. Let me know if you find. Um, and again, you can just accept these as you go along. Don't be afraid to. They're, they're not timed. Um, I think this one's such a bountiful harvest of beans this year. So many, I don't know what to do with them all. But there is a lady who we have to talk to. 
Here we go. This is the one I wanted. I am desperate. My kitchen is bare. I don't have all the ingredients to me, especially La Grande Enchil La Grande Enchilada. Please, senor, if you want some cheese, bring it to me. Find the beans, bring them to me. How will you find the perfect chili? The tortillas are the last ingredient I promise I need. Alright, so this is another one. We actually talked to several of the people who were do who were giving away the cheese. Um, let's see. Uh, you have the tortilla. He has the she has the beans. You got the beans. I think. The okay. Um, where is there? There was one. I think she had tortillas. This one. Give me the tortillas. And we got a ton of tortillas. Oh man, I gotta tell you, uh, going back to some of my favorite Hispanic food, I gotta tell you, um, some of my favorite is, uh, is still, um, oh god, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm blanking on names, probably because I'm tired, um, Jesus, uh, but, oh, why am I blanking on the name that I love to eat around Christmas every year? Socopias? So they are not Socopias. Also, I think we got a stamina boost. Yep. We got a stamina boost button. A uh, stamina boost. You get three of those. God, what are they called? You wrap them up, put them in pork and chicken. I don't know why I'm forgetting. I feel like such a bad Hispanic. Oh, Jesus. Um. Ooh, there was a guy who said he had cheese. Where is that guy? He said he had cheese. I'm looking for cheese. Hello. I need cheese. No. Fajitas are a meat. Can you get... Where is it? Is this him? Alright, we got fresh cheese. So, I think all we need is the chili. I think that's all we need. T tamales! There you go. I don't know why I couldn't remember tamales. I love tamales. Tamales are delicious. If you haven't had tamales in your life, you're missing, you're missing out. You are missing, missing out. Okay, there's gotta be somebody here. Is it this guy? El, El Bano, which is the toilet. Which is the toilet. Do you have him? Do you have it? Do you have... No, you don't have it. Where? Who has... Who has the freaking thing? I think it's just chili that we're missing. I think that's all we're missing. Where's the kitchen? Nope, you don't have it. Um, you do not have it. Let's see what all we need. Um, yeah, we just need the chili. I don't know where the chili is at though. I don't think it's, maybe it's not here? Maybe it's not here. Yeah, she already gave us the tortilla. The tortilla so. I don't think it's here. Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's not here. If not, we'll come back to it later again. But most of the three of them are, the first couple of ones are in there. Also, Las Casa Crashers, which is a reference to the Castle Crashers, the one that's, which is one of the few indie games I haven't played because it's only on Xbox Arcade, um, on in the Xbox 360. I don't know if it's on Steam. It should be. That's right, little, that's right, little chicken. I'm just an inanimate object. A little closer. Mmm. Born on the ground looks yummy. Olmec, no! Oi, you scared him off. What are you looking at? Sorry, I wasn't always such a mean Olmec head. Yep, I used to have my Olmec brothers, but they have been spread across the world. If you can find them, they can teleport back to me. This is your fast travel system. So, um, but we can't, we cannot use it yet because we don't have another Olmec head. Um, so yeah, well, if you know the name Olmec, Legends of the Hidden Temple, which I think is actually getting a TV movie now, which is crazy to me. It's crazy that that bringing that back. I'd rather it just be like a, uh, an actual game show. Silver Snakes for life, baby. Also, welcome to the Temple of Rain. Can't get that yet? It's teasing you. Daunting you. I love how the camera pulls out, too. It's just like you get, to, you get the wide look of the rainforest and everything. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 hold up. Are you going into that temple? I was just in there, and trust me, you don't want any part of that. Creatures have been peering out of thin air, and I swear I caught a glimpse of the world of the dead. I barely made it out alive. Also, I was just leaving the temple to seal itself shut, so I don't know how, how you plan on getting in there anyway. Oh, no. 
All right, obviously we can't go in there, but ah, look at this, platforms. What's this swirling vortex of death? Let's jump in. And look at that, we are now back into the world of the dead. Let's go back over here to see if there's anything, just in case. Remember that thing we couldn't get to earlier? You remember? I hope you remember, to quote George Lopez, you remember? I remember. A lot of my humor comes from George Lopez. There we go. Fun fact, that's actually the first time I've ever gotten that because I never thought of going left, so I've turned on some of I'm learning on my own let's play, so it is. So, there you go. We are now in the world of the dead, and I love how vibrant the world of the dead is, sort of sticking with the theme that Dia de los Muertos isn't a time of mourning, uh, but rather a time of celebration. All right, we'll play a little bit of this, and then we're not going to go for it. We're not going to do it too further in this, because episodes are already going to be longer than I want them to be, considering this game's not really good. Combo finisher, yeah, give me that. Ah, oh, let's look at this. We'll probably stop right here. Oh my, what do we have here? Or at least at the next save point. Is this the husky luchador I've heard? How do we, heck, water Javier speak of? I love this woman so much. Hmm, seems like he skipped out the best part. I love her laugh, and she she just keep laughing like that over and over again if you don't press anything. <laughs> Luchador, loose enough. I suppose you're looking for Calica, right? He's off with flame facing that girl, preparing for the, his ceremony. Maybe instead of chasing after them, you and I could have a bit of fun. I think. Luan's just like, Lady, I give no fucks. I'm here for El Presidente's daughter. Bam! Hmm, no effect. Well, if we meet again, maybe you will be worth my attention. I love how you can see her earrings. I'm pretty sure that's a skull. I'm pretty sure. But right now, Calicus Pret Ali, a libre, calls to him. He is lonely and in need of some seriously heavy petting. I don't. <laughs> Double entendre. She's a woman of sexual nature. I love her. I love this woman so much. Alexis, have a great, have a, we have a guest. Please make him comfortable. Okay. Ah, we got these midgets, guys. These guys can be really annoying to fight. But, not too bad. Now there's more of them. Get fucked. Pile driver. There we go. Now there's a shit ton of them. See how easy, though, that you can just... So when in doubt, just throw, just throw things. Like, be like in a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Just throw shit at people. That's not, that's not Jean-Claude Van Damme. Dude, he's just straight up kickbox you. Get fucked. Get it? Yep. And as always, use this. And look at that. Transfer back into the world of the living. Just keep going this way. By the way, if you do land, then you have to do it all over again. So it's not too bad. So let's go over here. Aha! This is what we call... This is a... We'll probably end it on this... Actually, we're not going to end this thing. We're going to end it when we get to the same point. So, Guacamelee likes to basically test your skills as the game goes along to either get more stamina pieces or more Corazon parts. I'm going to just call them Corazon parts. And so in doing so... I don't think we can do this now. This um, but where you basically have to take your recently acquired skills and apply them to oh yeah we can do it and apply them to a trial that's a very simple one and look at that we already got a second salmon piece and you're gonna find these all over dungeons all over the world map so be on the lookout and you'll be rewarded with something more likely, it's either a, it's either a chest piece, or a heart piece, or a um, or a salmon piece. So you know it's beneficial to explore. So we're gonna call it right there for this episode. So thank you for watching. Remember the question today: What wrestling organization did you grow up with, and you know what did you like about it in particular? Um, as always, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to let me know what your thoughts on this game, wrestling, Metroid, and just in general. What are your how was your day? How was your day? How was your day today? Were you marvelous today? Remember, always be marvelous. So, thank you for always, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, as always. Um, you know, 
click the description for all the social media links or whatever. The only one I use is just Twitter. Um, and thank you. Until next time for Guacamelee Part 3. Remember, stay marvelous. Have a good night, everyone.